everyone. Welcome to live interactive English. This is Karen. What's up, everybody? I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day one of the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington, and the vocabulary words are origin. Origin. The pizza's place of origin is Italy. Chain. Chain. There are many chain stores in the new mall. Hmm. Structure. Structure. That gray steel structure is a new piece of art. Elevator. Elevator. The elevator is always full of people early in the morning. Uh huh.、Mm. Musician. Musician. Phil's dream is to become a musician. Good for Phil. That's right. There are a lot of musicians and a lot of bands come from Seattle. <gasps> Because we're talking about Seattle, right? We are. They have a kind of a cool culture there, like music, coffee. It's kind of a relaxed, chill kind of vibe there. So I take it that you have been to Seattle before. I have, and I'm from the West Coast in、mm -hmm. the United States, and I think a lot of the West Coast culture is quite similar. similar. Okay. Yeah, but they're really famous. Therefore, everyone has seen the Space Needle. Okay. Right. So that's like an icon, like、yeah. a tourist attraction. Yeah, and I think it's kind of what Seattle's most famous for is、mm -hmm. that, and also、yes. for the biggest coffee retailer in the whole world. Are you talking about Starbucks? <laughs> that's the the original Starbucks is in、the、Seattle. The very first Starbucks, right? Yeah. How's that different? Have you been to that one before? Well, I do remember one different thing about it is、mm -hmm. that there are no seats in there. You have to. Oh, really? To, yeah, there's no place to sit.、You、so we to... got tables, and people just kind of stand around the tables, kind of. No, I don't think there's even tables. You just get your coffee and, and go. It's oh. Not, it's not very big. Okay,、yeah. okay, but that was a very first Starbucks. Yeah, I've been there. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's learn more about this beautiful city, Seattle. Okay. Enjoy. Enjoy. The Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. What city has a tower that looks like a spaceship and is the origin of the world's most famous coffee chain? The answer is Seattle. Located in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle may often be rainy, but it's always worth a trip. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called the Emerald City. Seattle, Washington. Day one. Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And if you're familiar with American geography, you might know Seattle as being one of the the big cities on the West Coast, on the Pacific Coast of America. So basically, if you fly over the ocean from Taiwan, Seattle might be one of the first cities you'd come to. It's up in the Northwest. It's very green. It's very wet. There's lots of wonderful natural scenery with the Mountains nearby, great forests for hiking, and in the city itself, you'll find great food, great culture, and a good cup of coffee from a company you might have heard of. So, for the next couple of days, we'll be exploring and discovering more about Seattle, Washington, the Emerald City. Yeah, it's not Oz. It's not in not Oz. Oz. This isn't Dorothy and the Witch. This is no. This is the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington,、oh. the gem of the. Pacific Northwest. Emeralds are green, so、and、the trees. There I you get go.、Okay. Further on a map, yes,、mm. this part of the United States、mm -hmm. is in the Northwest, but、mm -hmm. in America, that region is called the Pacific Northwest. Okay. In the Northwest, near the Pacific Ocean. Anyways, let's get started.、Mm. What city has a tower that looks like a spaceship,、mm. and is the origin of the world's most famous? Coffee chain. There's the question. I think the answer is the Emerald City, Seattle. Seattle. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the word origin right now. It's a noun. When we're talking about the origin of something, we're talking about where that thing came from, where it started, where it began. You could ask a question like, Hmm, what are the origins of life? Where did life come from? Good question. Anyways. Let's look at an example sentence for this word origin. For example, the pizza's place of origin is Italy. I.e., that's where it all started. People started making pizza in one place, 
Italy. And Seattle is the city of origin of a very big coffee chain. Now, when we talk about a chain, we're talking about a company that has many different stores, many different branches. All around the world, it's not just one store that was set up by one person, and that's the only one in the world. No, a chain is usually a big company, a big corporation, and they open shops or stores or restaurants in many cities in many parts of the world. Usually,、like、Gap. some of the big chains might include H&M, Gap, H and M, Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, thank McDonald's,、you. McDonald's. Thank you very much. These are big chains. You can find a McDonald's or a Gap or a Pizza Hut in many countries and many cities around the world. We call it a chain because, like a chain, it's a connected series or a connected network of businesses. For example, there are many chain stores. In the new mall,、mm. you can find all the big brands there, all and, the big companies. And there's also a Starbucks there, which is the chain that we're going to be talking about in this case. Anyways, yes, the answer to this question is Seattle.、Mm. The answer is Seattle, and located in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle may often be rainy,、mm. but it's always worth a trip. So go there. It's rainy, but the rain makes it green, makes it beautiful. And anyway, Seattle—it won't let you down. It's always worth a trip. It's worth your time、It's、to travel there. You'll have a good time, and we will prove it to you after the break. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍的旅游景点是西雅图 （Seattle）。西雅图位于华盛顿州，它又被称为 Emerald City（ 翡翠之城）。Emerald 这个名词，它表示祖母绿啊，绿宝石。那它也可以用来形容翠绿色的。刚刚 Jeff 老师用到 gem 这个字 ，G E M gem 表示宝石。好，课文一开始问我们说，什么城市有一座看起来像太空船的高塔，而且还是世界最最著名咖啡连锁店的源头呢？答案就是西雅图。虽然西雅图常常下雨，可是这个城市非常值得造访。我们先来看两个单字 ：origin。Origin， 它表示起源、由来，它是当名词来用。那顺便补充它的相关词性 ，original，original， Original, 它是形容最初的、原先的或是原始的。originally，originally， Originally, 它是副词，表示最初、原先。再来看 chain， chain 它表示连锁店，也可以用来指一连串或者是一系列的事物。Michael 老师在解释单字时用到 corporation， corporation 是指公司或者是企业。接下来课文中 ，The Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. Seattle's most famous structure is the 605-foot-tall Space Needle, which was originally built for the Seattle World's Fair in 1962. It looks like a UFO with a set of long white legs. Take the elevator to the top for excellent views of the city. Okay, before the break. We mentioned a building that looks like a spaceship.、Mm. Apparently, Seattle has one of these. It's、mm-hmm. called the Space Needle. Anyways, yes, Seattle's most famous structure is the 605-foot-tall Space Needle, which was originally built for the Seattle World's Fair in 1962. That's when they built this Space Needle in honor of the World's Fair coming to Seattle. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the next vocabulary word in our lesson. It's the noun structure. A structure is kind of like a building. It's something that you build for the most part. Now, one note: structures are usually somewhat large. But yes, this word structure is kind of a general word that can refer to pretty much anything that is built. A skyscraper, like Taipei 101, is a structure. The Space Needle. Is a structure. Any building can be called a structure, as can any bridge or anything like that. You can even call some statues a structure. For example, that gray steel structure is a new piece of art. That statue or piece of sculpture, yes, can be called a structure. Okay, more on this spaceship-like structure、mm. known as the Space Needle. Apparently, it looks like. 
a UFO. That's right. Maybe if you think of a a science fiction movie from the 1960s, it kind of looks like a rocket ship, or maybe a UFO from that time. It doesn't look like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars or no. anything like that. It's a tower, but it's got a definite spacey kind of feeling to it. And yes, it looks like a UFO with a set of long white legs. Not too different from the Tokyo Sky Tower、okay. or the CN Tower in Toronto, Canada. And like those, you can get to the top to get a great view of the city. It says, "Take the elevator to the top for excellent views of the city." Absolutely, it's a wonderful place to go on a beautiful, clear day. You can see the city. You can see、uh, Puget Sound and the Pacific Ocean and all the wonderful geography. Around Seattle, and yes, an elevator is the way most people would go to the top. You could <laughs> climb the stairs, but you'd have very sore legs. So I would recommend taking the elevator. Elevator is one of our featured words here. It's a noun. An elevator is basically just that machine that lifts and lowers things. When you go into a tall building and you press a button, and that little box or that little room opens, and you step inside and pick the floor you want to go to, and it goes up, or it brings you. Back down. You are in an elevator. Don't get confused, though, with an escalator. E S C A L A T O R. Escalator are those moving stairs that you might take in a department store or something like that. The elevator is the one that will get you much higher, much faster. For example, the elevator is always full of people. Early in the morning, it's、mm. a busy time when people are going to work and there stuff. You, there you go. Elevator box, escalator stairs. That's all there is to it.、Mm -hmm. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 第一站，我们来到西雅图最著名的建筑物——太空针塔 （Space Needle）。这座塔原本是为了1962年西雅图世界博览会所建造的。World Fair 就表示世界博览会。那 Jeff 老师刚刚提到说，太空针塔是为了庆祝那一届世界博览会在西雅图举办而建造。那老师用到 in honor of 这个片语 ，in honor of 就表示为了庆祝什么，或者是向什么致敬、纪念。好，太空针塔它的外观造型看起来像飞碟一样，有着又长又白的支柱，然后这个高度超过六百英尺，你可以搭电梯到塔顶去看看这座城市的美景。Mike 老师说，你还可以看到 Puget Sound， 就是普吉特海湾，它是位于西雅图西岸的峡湾。好，其实 Sound 这个字它除了指声音，它也可以指峡湾或是海湾。好，这边有两个单字 ，structure。Structure， 它表示建筑物或是结构体或者是构造，是当名词。Jeff 老在解释单字时提到 skyscraper，skyscraper 则 skyscraper 是指摩天大楼。下一个单字 elevator，elevator elevator 是电梯。好，那电扶梯的英文叫做 escalator，escalator escalator。接回到课文中。The Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. Next to the Space Needle is the Museum of Pop Culture. Step inside, and you'll find exhibits on film, video games, and Seattle rock musicians. Don't forget the Marvel Comics exhibit, which features original art and more. Feeling hungry? Head to Pike Place Market. This public market is the home of the original Starbucks, which opened in 1971. Unlike other Starbucks stores, this one has no seats. Once you've got your coffee, get yourself a Seattle-style hot dog with cream cheese and onions. Okay, when you're done with the Space Needle and、mm -hmm. taking in all the amazing views from the top of the Space Needle, maybe next you want to move on and visit a museum. Well,、mm -hmm. you are in luck. Next to the Space Needle. Is the Museum of Pop Culture? That's right. I believe it used to be called the Experience Music Project. But if you're into pop music, rock music, things like that, you can definitely check this place out. It's a very sort of modern, high tech style of museum. It says, "Step inside, and you'll find exhibits on film." Video games and Seattle rock musicians for fans of Nirvana, or even going all the way back to Jimi Hendrix, who was a、mm. Seattle 
rock musician. Mm -hmm. You can find lots of good stuff about them, as well as video games. Who doesn't love that? And film as well. So basically, if you like pop culture, you'll find something in this museum to entertain. But yes, Seattle is famous for music, grunge music, going back to garage rock in the '60s with the Sonics, great band. And a musician is just a person who plays music. You、yeah. could be a professional musician. You could be a famous rock musician. Or you could just be someone who likes to play a little bit on the weekends with your friends. As long as you're playing music at an just an okay level, you can call yourself a musician. You can call yourself a, muse- a musician、mm-hmm. if you're good at music, or if、mm-hmm. you like to play music, but、yeah. you don't make it into a museum、no. by being a weekend musician.、No. These rock musicians in this museum were people. Who played music and they got paid for it? They're professional music players or musicians, and maybe some of these are still alive. But you mentioned Nirvana.、Mm. Sadly, the probably the biggest rock star that Seattle ever produced is no longer with us. Anyways, the word musician is a noun. For example, Phil's dream is to become a musician.、Mm, there you go. He wants to get paid to make money, but、well, he wants to get paid to make music. I、mm-hmm. should say. So he wants to be a professional, but maybe now he's an amateur. He does it just for fun. He plunks on his guitar、okay. alone in his room, but he can dream. Anyways, good on you. There's more in this museum. Oh, really? Don't forget the Marvel Comics exhibit, which features original art and more. Wow. And After all of this, if you're feeling hungry,、mm-hmm. you can head to Pike Place Market. Okay. This public market is home, or is home is the home, I should say, of the original Starbucks, which opened in 1971. There you go. There's our famous international coffee chain, Starbucks. Yes, started in Seattle back in 1971. Now, if you go to this Starbucks store, don't expect to find the same kind of style of store that you find all around the world. It says, unlike other Starbucks stores, this one has no seats. There's nowhere to sit down, but a lot of people like to get their coffee, stand outside, take a photo. I think back in the old days, actually, when Starbucks opened, they didn't even sell coffee; they just sold coffee beans. But nowadays, you can get a coffee、oh. there, but don't plan on sitting around and reading a book or working on your laptop. You'll have to stand and drink your coffee. But once you've got your coffee, we read, get yourself a Seattle-style hot dog with cream cheese. And onions. This is a Seattle-style hot dog, not a New York style or a Chicago style. In my hometown of Montreal, Canada, we have the Montreal-style steamy hot dog. But I have to say, cream cheese and onions. Sounds, When I think of cream、terrible. cheese, I think of a bagel. I don't think of a hot dog. Yeah, I, I don't think of onions going well with the、no. cream cheese either. So I'm thinking if I go to Seattle. I might skip this. A hot dog covered in cheese. I'm sure、Sounds、you、like、can get, gain some weight. I'm sure you can get other styles.、I、you probably、so. don't have to have that. Fingers、one. crossed. All right, folks. With that, time is up, and it's time for us to say bye bye. 太空侦探旁边就是流行文化博物馆。你可以在这间博物馆里面看到漫威漫画展，还有电影、电玩、西雅图摇滚音乐家的展览品。那 Michael 就是提到一些知名摇滚音乐家，还有乐团，像是 Jimi Hendrix、吉米汉崔克斯，还有 Nirvana 超脱乐团等等。老师刚刚还提到 Grunge，Grunge grunge 是一种另类摇滚风格，叫做乐色音乐，或者是称作油渍摇滚啊、颓废摇滚。据说这种音乐风格是起源于西雅图。好，这边有一个单字 musician， musician 表示乐手或是音乐家。我们可以在 musician 前面加上形容词 professional 来形容职业的，或者是 amateur 来形容业余的。而补充单字 exhibit， exhibit 它表示展品或是展览、展出。好，那下一站当然要尝尝当地美食喽。作者建议我们到派克市场，它是星巴克创始店的所在地。不过这间星巴克没有座位。当你买好咖啡之后，记得要去买西雅图风味的热狗来搭配，上面会有奶油 cheese 还有洋葱哦。好了，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍三个文法重点。第一个是分词构句。
，第二个是 be worth 加上名词或动名词。第三个是地方副词或是地方副词片语一到句首的倒装句。首先，我们来学习分词构句。当一个句子中的前后子句主词相同的时候，可以删除其中一个主词以及连接词，并将动词改成分词形式。主动或进行的时候用现在分词，被动的时候用过去分词。例如。Beto is located in the north of Taiwan, and it is famous for its hot springs. Beto 位于北台湾，以温泉闻名。由于前后子句的主词都是北投，可以省略连接词 and 以及其中一个主词，像是前面的北投，并将 be 动词改为分词 being。Being 通常可以省略不用，那我们只保留后方的过去分词 located， 就会形成分词构句。Located in the north of Taiwan, Beto is famous for its hot springs. 接下来，我们来学习 be worth 加上名词或动名词。Worth 做介系词，可以表示值得什么什么的。那它的用法是 be 动词加上 worth 加上名词或动名词，例如 the book is worth reading 这本书值得一看。The town is well worth a visit 那个城镇很值得造访。另外 worth 也可以表达值多少钱的，那它的用法是 be 动词加上 worth 加上金额，例如。The camera is worth fifteen thousand NT dollars. 这台相机价值新台币一万五千元。最后，我们来学习地方副词或是地方副词片语一到句首的倒装句。要强调表示地方的副词或副词片语时，或者是主词带有比较长的修饰语时，为了避免头重脚轻，可以将地方副词或地方副词片语一到句首。并将后方的主词和动词进行倒装。举例来说 ，A jar filled with cookies sat on the top shelf of the kitchen cabinet. 厨房柜子的最上层摆了一个装满饼干的罐子。那这个例句是直述句，句中的 a jar filled with cookies 是主词 ，sat 是动词 ，on the top shelf of the kitchen cabinet 则是地方副词片语。要形成倒装句时，先将地方副词片语 on the top shelf of the kitchen cabinet 移到句首，并将动词 sat 移到主词的前方，形成倒装，这样句子就会变成 on the top shelf of the kitchen cabinet sat a jar filled with cookies。另外提醒同学们，当句中的主词是代名词时，主词和动词不倒装。以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽 ，See you next time， bye。欢迎收看，就爱讲英文。我是悠悠，我是季安。啊、哦，我跟你讲，俗话说得好，中国人说呢，女生一白遮三丑。真的。但是我真的觉得，女她这个亚洲女生很在乎美。白呀、啊，嗯，就来教大家怎么样美白呀、啊。美白哈，第一步就是要干嘛？防晒，防晒，防晒比那个擦那个任何那些美白产品都还来重要。哦、真的，防晒，防晒，擦擦就是 apply， apply， 好， apply sunscreen， apply sunscreen， 或者 apply sunblock， apply sunblock， 就是擦防晒乳啦。OK， 那再的话，有些人会用那个美白的面膜，哦、对不对？一定要。面膜就是 facial mask，、哦、facial mask，、啊、facial mask。我跟你讲。面膜的种类跟学问可大的呢，那就用比较猛的哈。Intensive， 你看 intensive 这个字就就厉害了，厉害，深度的、强度很够的。Intensive whitening mask， intensive whitening mask， 深度的美白面膜。嗯，还有很多的抗老的、啊、抗皱的、啊，你知道女生很在意哦，各种这个面膜它的功效是不一样，什么都要抗，抗老、抗皱，哎，抗地心引力，当然了，是不是？抗呢，我们用一个字首哈，就是 anti。Anti，uncle，uncle、oh, uh, 不是 ，sorry，anti，OK，、okay, 嗯，就是抗，所以呢，你说要抗皱的话呢，就是 anti wrinkle，anti wrinkle， 抗老吗？抗老 ，anti aging，anti aging， 有些人会念 anti aging，OK，、okay, 嗯、然后还要还有什么？要哦，紧致，紧致哦。
有没有？紧夫怕抬头纹、哦。我们用 firm 这个字 ，f i r m， 它当形容词的话呢，就是很紧实的；那当动词呢，就是让它紧实、哦。所以 firming， 它可以紧实你的肌肤。这么紧，好不好 ？OK， 哦，不管是白天哈、哦、晚上哦，都要敷面膜，好不好？让我们看起来像冰冰了，冰、嗯、冰，好不好？容光焕发，好，那让自己看起来是容光焕发的样子、嗯，你可以有一个片语啊，叫做 perk up， perk up， perk up， perk up， 就让你自己容光焕发的那种感觉啊。所以呢 ，I use facial masks to perk up my skin， 让我的皮肤 bling bling, bling bling and pamper myself。Oh, I use facial masks to pamper my skin and pamper myself. Okay, myself. Pamper 这个字呢，<笑>在一个地方你可以看到。哎，等一下，都有尿片的名字吧？对啊，邦宝士。邦宝士就是 pamper， 但 pamper 它原来的意思呢是什么？呵护的意思。Pamper myself， 邦宝士我自己啊，没有，就是呵护我自己，<笑>好不好？那个皮肤跟小朋友的屁屁一样嫩的意思，好会取名字哦 ，pamper， OK。但是美白就是要皮肤不暗沉，暗沉怎么说？暗沉就是 dull and dark skin， dull and dark skin， dull 的话就是完全没有光彩的哦，暗淡，暗沉， dark 就是黑这样。好，那相反的话就是怎么样？像这样，容光焕发， oh, oh. glow， glowing。Glowing skin 就是皮肤非常的亮白，这样是的，对。但是也很多人会注意这个眼部还有唇的保养，对，这些都非常的重要。OK， 所以你如果听到有一个哦，他真的很会保养，你就可以跟他说 ，Sounds like you take really good care of your skin. You can say that again. 嗯 ，Sounds like you take really good care of your skin. That's right. 对，就这样，是不是？大家一定要好好保养了，好吗？来看一下今天的 live action. Oh, today was so hot. It is. I'm going to put on an intensive whitening mask tonight. Whitening mask? Was it for? I use facial masks to perk up my skin and pamper myself. I want to glow on my skin. I see. Yeah, and I'm going to apply some anti-aging products too. Sounds like you take really good care of your skin. Of course.